What's up, reactors? Today, we're watching another video by my buddy, the Yamagi. Go check him out down below. Today, we're reacting to Naruto Beyond the Pages. It's like a behind the scenes to Naruto, like how Naruto is made about like Kishimoto stuff. So we're live on Twitch, by the way, if you want to watch through just react videos live, we usually do them on Twitch, twitch.tv slash basically. Let's check out the Yamagi's video. Naruto, Naruto Beyond the Pages. Naruto, a story about a boy with a dream. An outcast whose desire to fit in eventually led him to becoming the most respected ninja in his village. True. This Very series true. is a masterpiece. But on a deeper level, it speaks to us all in a sort of way. It shows us how hard loneliness can be. For so many, this is what made the series so relatable. We all saw a piece that of is, yeah. in Naruto. I could go on for hours talking about how deep and emotionally charged this series is, but for now, I wish to go. I mean, I could more relate to like Sasuke, you know, my brother murdered my whole family, you know. That's more my that's more like that's more how I feel, you know. A little deeper and discuss with you about the inspiration behind Misashi Kishimoto's best Kishimoto. known work and the legacy it left behind. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and- Well, we I'll give them a shout out because I know that they now upload every day. Check them out for letting us watch their videos. To say that Naruto is one of the most popular anime and manga series in the world may be an understatement. For so many, True. it proved to be the first step into the world of anime that has come to be commonplace in Dragon Marvel Ball movies. for most of us. Spanning over 700 chapters, 720 episodes, and 11 movies, to say it's had a good run. 11 like, movies, dude? I've seen like two. That hasn't ended as Boruto is continuing on where Naruto left off would be another understatement. But beyond the world we know in the pages, there lies a yep. hidden history. Oh. One that provided an inspiration for our favorite ninja and influenced what we have all come to know and love. From an early point in his life, Misashi Kishimoto loved manga and anime. The two That's figures true. he came to respect and admire the most were Akira Toriyama and Kasuhiro Otomo, both of which were award-winning mm, manga. I know. Akira Toriyama, if you Dragon don't Ball. know, was the author of Dr. Slump and a little series you may know as Dragon Ball. Kasuhiro Otomo was the author oh, Akira. of Akira, the manga, not the author we just mentioned. Is it Akira or Akira? I've always said Akira. Which was released by Kodansha, the same publishing group responsible for the serialization of other great manga, such as Attack on Titan and Blazer Drive, the latter of which True. was actually written by his brother. Kishimoto and his twin brother Seishi Kishimoto were influenced by many of these anime and manga at a young age. He would often find himself drawing the characters from these shows and manga with his brother and would design concepts for superheroes based on the series Kinikuman. What the hell? However, the wheels of time what the hell were those the Dragon Ball wannabes? The pressures of high school seemed to all but crush these childhood fantasies. It wasn't until the Akira movie was released that he returned to the interests of his childhood. Uh -huh. He attended an art college and began working on his first manga. He had hoped to break the mold and enter a submission to Weekly Shonen Jump, the same magazine that Dragon Ball was released in, and still is to this day, for True. a manga series in the Chanbara genre. However, in that same year, he began to read two manga series by authors Hiroaki Samura and Nobuhiro Watsuki that used the same genre he was hoping to base his new manga after. The year after, he began submitting entries to various manga magazines. He found that his style was more geared for seinen, or adult audiences. He wished to write for Shonen Jump, but just found that he wasn't suited for writing for younger audiences. It True. wasn't until after he watched Hashire Melos that he was inspired to begin researching character designs from the animators. Later, he met Tatsuya Nishio, the designer of the anime adaptation of Ninku, a series that Kishimoto was already Whoa. a fan of. Having learned the that looks of the cool. I want to watch that. He began to work on his dreams of writing a shonen manga. He later went on to submit his first successful work, what the? Kuri, which won him a place in Shueisha's Hop Step Award. Katakuri? Is that JoJo's? Afterward, he began working on the serialization of the manga that helped him finally get into the world of manga creation and was offered a one-shot in the magazine. He scrambled to get it ready for the two-week Whoa, who's, who's that guy? Katakuri. With the failure of his first shonen manga, he decided to go back to his roots and begin writing seinen manga once more. However, with the encouragement of his editor, he was convinced to give one final push into the world of shonen. This led to the one birth of the manga <gasps> series Naruto! Love as Naruto. Having previously been published as a one-shot for Akamaru Jump, the series needed a lot of love. Previously focusing on magic and sorcery, the protagonist named after a fish cake, symbolizing Kishimoto's obsession with Rama. I want to read the one-shot. Wait, the yo, where can I read that one-shot? They decided to take it in the direction that would appeal more to audiences by adding in the concept of ninjas. Beyond Naruto, the design of Kiru from Kishimoto's one-shot, Katakuri, as well as the androids with red Sasuke. eyes in the same manga, appear to be the basis for the design of Sasuke of the Uchiha clan. It finally launched in 1999 and became an immediate hit with hey, the graphic. I think I have that. It's pretty close. 
It was so successful that Kishimoto won the Rookie of the Year award for it. Eventually, the time came where it would be adapted into the better known anime series. When it was, he asked Tetsuya Nishio, the designer that he had used to better learn the style of shonen manga from, mm -hmm. to oversee the anime. In oh. America, Viz Media acquired the rights to publish the series. It quickly became one of Viz Media's top manga and accounted for 10% of all manga sales in the United States. Damn, we killed it! A Quill Award for Best Graphic Novel. We killed Responding it. Responding to this, Kishimoto spoke on the subject of his fans overseas, saying, I'm very glad that the American audience has accepted and understood Ninja. It shows that the American audience has good taste. True, because it means we they do. can accept something previously unfamiliar to them. During his time writing Naruto, Kishimoto came into contact with Ichiro Oda, the author of another critically acclaimed series, One Piece, a man he would call his rival, a title Oda would agree heavily with. Together, along with Taik Kubo, the author of Bleach, they formed the three most popular manga nah, Bleach sucks. Jumps lineup, Bleach trash. that later became known as the Big Three. Beyond this, Kohei Horikoshi, author of My Hero Academia, cited Naruto and One Piece as some of the manga that inspired him when writing his manga series. Okay, cool. Kishimoto spoke cool. of Horikoshi's work, stating cool, that it went to very well overseas. Beyond this, Kishimoto had a good working relationship with author Yoshiro Togashi, creator of the Hunter x Hunter series, True, and Yu there we go, Yu Hakusho, the chief editor. Kishimoto regarded Togashi as one of his favorite mangaka, being heavily influenced by his work. In the past, Kishimoto had been accused by others of ripping off Togashi's work, huh? such as the similarities between the Chunin exams and Hunter exams. But in truth, no. Togashi and Kishimoto considered themselves friends and would often discuss and share ideas. See? Kishimoto also worked on some of the Naruto movies, such as Road to Ninja, though the movie remains considered non-canon. He also worked on the movies Naruto The Last and that one's the canon. movie, both of which acted as a bridge between the two series. On November 10, 2014, after 15 years of successful action, the Naruto storyline came to a close with the 700th and final chapter Damn. of Shippuden. The year after, however, Kishimoto announced his supervision of the monthly comic Boruto Naruto Next Generation. This there we story, go. however, was not planned to be written by Kishimoto, but instead Ukiyo Kodachi, who had no. previously helped write the Boruto movie. With his new free time, he proceeded to work on a new project. Oh, Samurai don't bring 8, that up. Which was released on May 13th. And it was canceled. Samurai 8 was shown in Jump's first new series after the start of the Reiwa period. A time that marked the ascension of Emperor Naruhito. Sounds like Naruto, Emperor Naruto, Hokage Japan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my his god. father, who had abdicated the throne the day prior, marking the end of the Heisei period. Samurai 8, however, failed to make an impact like Kishimoto's previous story had, and oh, was canceled man. March 23rd, 2020. In November of the same year, the previous writer of Boruto, Ukiyo Kodachi, stepped down from writing the Boruto manga, Huggers. and Kishimoto returned to the series, much to the delight of many fans, who had been dissatisfied by the turn and tone that the Boruto series Huggers. had taken since the end of Shippuden. Currently, Kishimoto is still writing the series. The series itself has inspired so much. It was inspired True. by some of the greatest manga in history and by some of True. the greatest mangaka in all of Japan. True. And in turn, it became one of the greatest manga franchises in the world. Best it seems to the match world. the story of Naruto to a T. Someone with grand dreams that started during their youth, facing hardship and moments of doubt before finally emerging fulfilled. Masashi Kishimoto went from nobody to Hokage of manga and created True. one of the greatest manga of all time. One adored by fans the world over. The story is sad yet heartwarming, but the best of all the stories Kishimoto could tell would be his own. The passion Aww. of the writer is an incredible thing. Each character carries one part of their personality, and Naruto is no different. There is one story I heard that pretty much warmed my heart. Like, for anyone who remembers the last Naruto movie, yeah. they'll realize that for the entirety of the movie, Hinata had been working on a scarf for Naruto. And when True. it was shredded, she began <sighs> to mend it, even in the face of Toneri Otsutsuki. It was an important thing that symbolized Hinata's love for Naruto. The reason why the scarf was chosen as opposed to anything else was due to a personal experience that Kishimoto had with his own love. In 2003, Kishimoto Aww. was married. He had explained that his wife, when they were not yet married, had knit him a scarf as Hinata did. He cited this as the reason why he chose the scarf. He had been told by the staff of the movie that using a scarf as a romantic device was cliche. However, he moved forward anyway as a scarf was what his wife had made for him. While it seems small, that one moment was something very important to Kishimoto, and True. he took that, perhaps one of his most treasured memories, and placed it into the movie to prove how much heart he had devoted to the stories he had been telling. The story of Naruto is about far more than a boy who was an outcast. It's about more than a child who dreamed of becoming Hokage. It's a story about a young man who admired the people who had left a lasting effect on the world through their wonderful stories. Yes. Dragon Ball. Akira, Doraemon, Ninku, they may be fantasy, but for some, 
They are so much more. They're an escape from reality, a place where the mind can roam free, and a place where anything is possible. Dude, older anime is so much cooler than newer. Do anything, even if the world tells you no. That was the message of Naruto. Freedom is something that even the most unlikely of people can find in the most unlikely of places. And because one man decided to chase his dream of writing the stories he so cherished, people the world over are Naruto running forward through life. The fuck? And, uh, area 51. Oh my god. <laughs> believe it! Even when your life is making it hard to do so. This is far more than the story of Naruto. This is the story of Misashi Kishimoto. True. This is your story. And this is why it will always be a legendary title. For years to come, the name Naruto will be spoken of and will become just as much of a classic as the likes of Fist of the North Star or Astro Boy. It's something that will live on not only on screen, but in our hearts, well beyond the pages. Did you like the video? I did! Yo, Chad, did you guys like the video? Thank you guys for watching back home on YouTube and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Go check out Amagi down below.